What is going on guys, it is Wrestling Mia here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including Seth Rollins calls CM Punk a cancer, Cody Rhodes shuts down Triple H Heat, Triple H addresses The Rock's return, what's going on with Nia Jax, is she back full time? what really happened with Rey Mysterio and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. And now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at Seth Rollins calls CM Punk a cancer. Our top story today looks at recent comments from Seth Rollins who doesn't exactly have flattering things to say in relation to a potential CM Punk WWE return. In an interview with Wrestling Inc's Nick Hausman, which took place before last night's Royal Rumble, Rollins would discuss the possibility of Punk returning to WWE. This is what Rollins had to say. Oh, Philly Phil, stay away, stay away, you cancer, get away from me forever. Wow. Yeah, no, I don't like Phil. I don't like Phil. He's a jerk. Oh, did we just figure that out? Did we just figure that out? No, everybody in the room like is like, oh no, dude, did he say that? Yeah, no, he's a jerk. Come on, we figured it out over there. We knew it over here. I don't want him back. Go do something else. Bye bye, bye bye. See you later. These comments seem to be a blend of Rollins's current WWE character as well as Rollins's real thoughts on Punk, as he didn't mention him as Phil. Speaking of Rollins, he was shockingly eliminated from the Royal Rumble by Logan Paul last night and this has led fans to speculate that Rollins is going to face Logan in a featured match at WrestleMania 39 in April. Would you guys like to see Rollins vs Logan Paul? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Roman Reigns' insane WWE 2K23 rating revealed. A WWE strong presentation of Roman Reigns doesn't just take place on WWE television as his official rating for the upcoming 2K23 release has leaked online. According to Insider Gaming, Reigns will be rated at 99 overall in the game, with his arch rival Brock Lesnar just behind him with a rating of 97. Whilst this seems drastically high, Reigns has been pinned since 2019, so it makes sense for Reigns to have a rating of this nature. Next up, Roman Reigns joins TikTok. The reigning undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns has officially joined TikTok, and in 24 hours, Reigns has obtained almost 100,000 followers. Reigns being on the social media platform is a smart move, and Reigns' two videos so far have accumulated almost 1 million views. Reigns had a tremendous showing in his main event match with Kevin Owens last night, and the post-match angle involving Sami Zayn is currently the talk of the wrestling world for all the right reasons. Next up, WWE interested in a free agent. And one of the rumoured names for last night's Royal Rumble was Nick Aldis. Although Aldis didn't show, this doesn't mean that WWE don't have desires to sign the former TNA World Champion. In a report published by Fight Force Select, it stated that WWE have interest in signing Aldis to a contract. Regarding questions about Nick Aldis and Mickey James, we've heard about some WWE interest in Nick Aldis dating back to when he was in NWA. Mickey James is technically a free agent despite being Impact Knockouts champion. She has commitments with Impact for quite a while. Would you guys like to see WWE sign Aldis? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Royal Rumble winner proving immensely popular. There was some concern that fans could potentially turn on Cody Rhodes last night. This predominantly came from fans who were worried that the overall fan base wanted Sami Zayn to win the Rumble, but thankfully nothing of the sort transpired and Rhodes' victory was well received. According to Fightful Select, Rhodes' merchandise was selling immensely well all weekend, making it clear that they made the right decision in having Rhodes win the match. He's now set to challenge the undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 39 in a match that is destined for the main event of Night 2 of the Two Night Spectacle. Next up, Cody Rhodes addresses Triple H heat. Ever since Triple H took over the reins of WWE Creative, there have been varied opinions surrounding how the game was going to book Rhodes. Rhodes took a number of shots at the game during his time in AEW and fans may believe this may influence how Rhodes was presented under Triple H. This was discussed during the post-Rumble press conference and Rhodes would thankfully diminish any potential heat between him and the Cerebral Assassin, but he didn't know that the game has justification not to like him. Rhodes stated, I will say, I don't want to get mushy with it, but Triple H has no reason to be a fan of mine if you really think about it. I smashed the throne in AEW, I took a lot of shots, always light-hearted, but I think he knew where it was coming from. I was hungry, I've modelled a lot of my presentation and performance after him, I'm clearly a massive Triple H fan. I'm glad he's coach and I get to play and I want to play quarterback. I owe him a lot for how he handled my dad, but I don't want him to look at me and see my dad. I want him to look at me and see me. Today I felt like he saw me. That's very important. My last name's done a lot of things for me, but we're at the point in my career when my first name has to do things as well. 
it's off to a great start, let's see where we go from here. Next up, Triple H addresses The Rock's potential return. Whilst The Rumble received mostly positive reviews last night, there was a sense of disappointment that The Rock didn't show up. The Rock appearing at the show had been rumoured for some time, but it looks like the reports of The Rock not working WrestleMania 39 this year are legitimate. Triple H would openly discuss the possibility of The Rock wrestling this year, and it looks like it simply is out of the question. Speaking on the post-Rumble press conference, the head of WWE Creative revealed, Apparently you can't get in shape in time. That's what you all tell me. He looked pretty jacked. I just don't think it's in the cards. Then again, I don't know. We always have conversations with him because he loves it so much and we'd love for him to be a part of it. He's the biggest star in Hollywood and maybe the most recognizable person on the planet. Why wouldn't we want him to be a part of it? The game then revealed that the Great One has an open invitation to return to WWE. This is his home. It's an open invitation. We don't lock the door. He has an open invitation to walk through it anytime he wants, but he's incredibly busy. I think that respect factors both ways. He wouldn't want to do it unless he could absolutely do it. There's no way he would show up here and half arse it. There's no way he would show up here and not come in and want to put every single thing he had into it to make it the best it could possibly be. Unless he could do that, it won't happen. He knows the door is open and when he has the time and availability to do it, he can come in and electrify everybody. Next up, the real reason Rey Mysterio was pulled from the Royal Rumble. WWE legend Rey Mysterio was announced as a 17th entrant of the Men's Royal Rumble last night, but he never made his way down to the ring. This confused fans as it was never explained where Mysterio was. However, an update in relation to Mysterio surfaced thanks to Dave Meltz on the Wrestling Observer Radio. It turns out that Mysterio is injured. Mysterio suffered an injury in his match against Karrion Cross on SmackDown, so it was subsequently pulled from the Rumble. Meltzer added, Rey Mysterio was injured. The SmackDown tapings in a match with Karrion Cross. He was going to be in the Rumble, that spot was changed, and then what happened was that they did a spot where he was supposed to come out. He didn't come out, and then Dominic comes out. I think they were actually supposed to do some teases with them in the Rumble to set up the WrestleMania match, but obviously they couldn't do it because Rey's injured. Next up, Nia Jax back full time. Nia Jax made a return to WWE last night in the Women's Royal Rumble. Jax's return has received negative reviews on social media as fans are questioning why WWE would bring back a talent as controversial as a former women's champion. It's possible that Jax returned for one match and one match only. However, WWE Shop indicates that Jax is back full time. WWE Shop have released a brand new t-shirt for the returning star which seems to suggest that Jax is firmly back into the mix. Are you glad to see Jax back in WWE? Let us know in the comments down below. And finally, the Royal Rumble winner, Injured. Our final story today to share some worrying news relating to the Women's Royal Rumble winner, Rhea Ripley. During the post-Rumble press conference, Ripley confirmed that she did in fact suffer an injury at the Rumble match. I'm obviously beat up. My knees aren't very good in general, so my knee did dislocate for a second and then it went back in. But I'm feeling good now. Because of all my emotions, I'm just excited, so I'm blocking out everything else. If anything, I can smell blood in my nose and that's definitely there. But my knee is good. Uh, hopefully Ripley is good and her knee pain doesn't lead to any substantial time away from WWE television. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below, I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.